You guys, can you believe that we are already on our fifth day of the five steps to becoming a virtual assistant series here on the Virtual Assistant Mama podcast? It has been so fun helping you walk through these five steps throughout this week, and I am just so honored to be able to help you in your virtual assistant journey. Now, today is the last chance to take advantage of our 20% off code for the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy. All you have to do is go to virtualassistantmama.com, click on the checkout and enter the coupon code podcast, and you will save 20% off of any of the payment plan options. This program is never this cheap, so I encourage you, if you've been thinking about becoming a virtual assistant, now is the time. All right, in day one of this series, we talked about how to figure out what services you want to offer that would light you up every single day. Day two, we broke down how to package your services into a portfolio to share with your potential clients. Day three, we talked about how to figure out who you would love to work with and where to find those paying clients. In day four, we talked about how to network effectively and how to apply to job opportunities and actually get responses. So if you miss any of those days, I highly recommend going back and listening to those. But in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to rock the interview call or what we in the virtual assistant world call the discovery call. With a discovery call, you want to show up as the authority. I want you to remember that when you're having a discovery call with a potential client, you are interviewing them as much as they are interviewing you. You want to see if they're going to be a good fit for your life. If you have kids and they're not okay with you having kids around when you're working, they're not going to be a good fit. So when you have these calls, you want to be asking questions to make sure that they're actually going to be a good fit for you as much as your going to be a good fit helping them in their business. I recommend coming to the discovery call prepared with some questions, a minimum of five. You may not get to all of the questions that you have, but it's better to be more prepared than not, okay? Now, I do also recommend having just some notes next to you so that you can remember what you want to mention or say. So if you're talking about your packages that you have to offer, just have some brief notes about what they include so you don't forget anything. You can have your questions written down you want to ask, maybe with a star next to your top three so you don't forget to ask those. Just having some notes next to you is so helpful. And you can just straight up tell your potential client on the call. I just have some notes next to me just because I don't, I want to make sure I don't forget anything important that I wanted to talk about on this call and they will be totally fine with. During the call, you want to share more info about how you can serve a potential client in their business. So you're going to be sharing your packages and how that those packages can help solve your potential client's pain points. So you want to make sure you're asking them the questions like, what are you struggling with in your business? What are your big goals in your business? Things like that. And then when you share your packages, talk about how your packages can help them reach those goals or solve those pain points. After the discovery call, you're going to send them a proposal, basically outlining packages that you have to offer, the best fits for them. Maybe if you're creating a custom package for them, that it would include that. This, again, is created in Canva, C-A-N-V-A. It's a free graphic design program, and you just, a lot of similar info to what's in the portfolio, but it's more tailored to what your potential client on that discovery call was saying they needed. So you're going to send them that proposal via email right after the call, like within an hour after the call. And then once they email you back and say, hey, I'd love to hire you for this package, then you're going to send your contract and your invoice. It's really important to have a contract in place to protect you legally. And obviously we wanna get paid. I want you to 100% make sure you get paid up front before you do any work for a client. If it's a really big project, like say, for example, website design, you can break it up into payments where they do like a 50% deposit up front before you do any work, and then the remaining 50% halfway through the project. But I never want you to get paid after you've done the work because then you might find yourself ghosted trying to chase down a client for payment, and I don't want you to deal with that. So 
Again, you have the discovery call, you send a proposal, and then once they accept the proposal, you send a contract and an invoice. Now, in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy, I literally walk you through how to have an effective discovery call. I give you a script to follow, so the questions you need to ask are all in there. It's so easy for you. You can just print it out and make a couple notes on it, and then you're ready. I also give you the proposal template, just like the portfolio template. You literally just go in, swap out your colors, put in your content, bam, it's ready to go. Same with the contract template. You just swap out your personal information. It's done in like two minutes. And I teach you how to send an invoice and make sure you're paid before you do any work. Again, the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy has literally everything you need to be a successful virtual assistant. Yes, you can DIY it, but you're going to make mistakes. And when you get stuck, you're not going to have anybody helping you get past that mountain and you're more likely to give up. So when you have the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy, you get not only all the help to teach you how to do everything, but when you hit that roadblock, I'm there encouraging you. I'm always there to answer your questions. You get that accountability and support you need to make this your full-time job if you want it to be. It can be a side hustle for now. It can eventually be your full-time income. Whatever you want it to be, it can absolutely be for you. You can 100% replace your income. You can double your income if you want. It is literally limitless what you can do. You get to be home with your babies, work on your own schedule. It is seriously such an answered prayer, and I know it can work for you if you give it the chance. So come to virtualassistantmama.com, click on the checkout button, pick your favorite payment option, scroll down to the bottom of the checkout page under the testimonial. There is a coupon spot. You can enter the code podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, and that's going to save you 20% off of the entire program. Again, the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy is never, ever, ever this discounted. I don't know when it's going to be this discounted again, probably not for a long time. So I really encourage you to come and join us. That's at virtualassistantmama.com, or you can find the link in the show notes. All right, your homework for this last day of the series is to come into our free Facebook community, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash virtual assistant mama. Find the day five post for this series. And I want you to drop your the basic questions that you plan to ask during a discovery call. Okay, so go do that homework. I'm holding you accountable. Make sure you do it. Thank you again so much for tuning in with me throughout this five-day series. I hope it blessed you. I hope it encouraged you to pursue this if this has been on your heart. And I cannot wait to have you join us and to send you all the virtual hugs in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy. Thank y'all so much for listening to this show. And I hope you come back here real soon.